Okay, last section of the AP7 Unit 6 test. That last section, by the way, was problem solving um, rather than no news, which I said at the end of the last video. Convince me that the graph of y equals 2x squared is a reflection of the graph of y equals minus 2x squared in the x-axis. So you need, you need to come up with some reasoning as to why this is the case. Um, so I mean, I mean, I, I would be tempted to to to, to use use some calculations here, um, and you know, I'll put in. Um, so I'll put in some values of x. So so if i'm going to firstly i'm going to use use my um, transformations notation to help so my sorry my function notation to help so that if y equals 2x squared is f of x then y equals minus 2x squared equals minus f of x. So, if I've got that, then I know, uh, and I know, I know that this represents this transformation reflects the graph in the x-axis. That is not going to be enough though. Okay, so uh, uh, you, why does it reflect it? That's what I'm going to need to say. This is because if I multiply so I multiply any value by minus 1 which is what's happening here okay this is the same as this this is like this bit here is like minus 1 times 2x squared the result will change from positive to negative and negative to positive. It's quite wordy, so it's a really good idea to get some examples in. So minus two f minus two fx or so minus two x squared is like minus 1 times by 2x squared. Okay. So if 2x squared equals 4, then minus 1 times 4 is minus 4. And if 2x squared equals, let's say, ten, you know, minus 10, then minus 1 times minus 10 is 10. And so I've given some sort of explanation and I've backed it up with some examples and that's what you need to do.